Hello and welcome to more yoga fitness. My name is Kathy and today we are doing a yin yoga practice. Yin yoga is a very quiet and restorative practice meant to open up your connective tissues, holding poses longer than in a typical vinyasa flow. Be prepared to become mildly uncomfortable in some of these poses and try to maintain a peaceful stillness both mind and body. You're going to need a bolster pillow for this practice, and we're also going to be utilizing two blocks. You will also need a strap or a belt from your closet. Go ahead and click the subscribe button if you like this video. And check out my channel, I have several other yin yoga practices. To start with, we're going to place the bolster pillow in between our legs and place the soles of the feet on the outside of the bolster pillow, taking our blocks and gently placing them underneath our knees for a little bit more comfort in this pose. A modified cobbler's pose. Inhale as you reach up and exhale as you fold forward gently resting your forehead on your bolster. If the forehead doesn't reach the bolster, you have the option to fold your forearms up and place your forehead on your forearms. We're gonna stay here for a few minutes. Take this opportunity to settle into this pose and just breathe, close your eyes. Take a few more breaths here, allowing each breath to increase the range of motion. The fold is deeper. The breath is focused. One more deep breath here. 
and we'll slowly come up to a straight spine. Taking the blocks and removing them from underneath our knees, we're gonna set them aside for now and take our bolster pillow and set it up with one block underneath one end of your pillow. We're gonna sit on top of the bolster pillow and block on that end. Tucking the right leg under into hero's pose. We're taking our left leg and extending it long, flexing toes to the face. As you inhale, lift your rib cage. And as you exhale, fold forward. Take note initially where your body is at in these first few breaths. And with each breath, increase the connection between your chest and thigh. Your inhales draw the crown of your head away from your torso. Your exhales draw your chest closer to your thigh. On your next inhale, we're going to slowly keep the chin tucked into the chest and come to a straight spine. And we'll do that same restorative pose on side B, tucking left leg into half heroes, right leg extends long, heel presses into the earth, toe flex to the face. As you exhale, fold forward and guide your chest closer to your thigh with every breath.
going to take a few more breaths here in this pose. And slowly allowing yourself to come back up into a straight spine. And we'll set up for our next pose. Removing the block. We're gonna place both blocks at the top of your mat. And then place your bolster on top of the blocks. So it's raised up just a little bit higher. We're gonna come into a modified child's pose for a nice stretch on the shoulders. Palms of the hands on the bolster. Sit your sitting bones back towards your heels. Big toes together, knees are splayed out wide. I'm going to slowly draw my forehead or third eye down toward the mat. Initially, it may not touch, but as I breathe, it draws closer and closer toward the mat. We're gonna remain here for a few minutes. So find that Shavasana-like state. Close your eyes and just breathe. Slowly making your way up out of this pose, releasing the forehead from the mat 
and walking your hands back toward your torso. Setting up for our next pose. We're going to remove the bolster from the blocks. And bring our knees up on top of the bolster for a little bit of a padding to the knees. We're coming into 90-90 legs, but what I want you to do is take your hip and bring it forward of your knee on the right. You can either keep your right toes tucked under or you can come uh, to a flattened foot with the top of your foot to the mat. We're going to come forward onto the blocks. Now some of you may stay up in tall arms. Some of you may come down onto the forearms. Just make sure that your hip is forward of your knee. And this pose is called dragon. It's a great hip opener. My left knee is above my left ankle. And I'm just dropping the crown of my head down toward the mat. So I loosen up my neck and shoulder muscles. Those aren't needed here. And we'll remain in this pose for a few minutes.
And we'll remain here for just a few more breaths as we open up those hip joint connective tissues. We're gonna slowly rise up onto tall arms. Kind of sit the sitting bones back a bit, straightening that front leg and then bringing your knees back onto the bolster. Rolling the shoulders up toward the ears and back and then rotating those shoulders the other direction. Let's set up for side B. Our right foot steps forward, knee above the hip. And on the left leg, the hip starts above the knee and then we intentionally bring it forward of the knee. Hands stay in tall arms on top of the blocks, or you may choose to come down onto your forearms. Once you've established your legs, go ahead and allow the crown of the head to drop down toward the mat so you release your neck and shoulder muscles. And we'll remain here still and quiet for a few minutes.
remaining still and quiet in this pose. We're going to stay here just a few more breaths, recognizing that in yin yoga, mild discomfort will happen. And we breathe into that discomfort to find that opening that is necessary in your connective tissues. We're going to slowly come up into tall arms and then sit ourselves back, bringing both knees to the top of our bolster pillow. Preparing for our next pose, we're gonna take our two blocks and move them closer to the bolster pillow. We're going to be setting ourselves up into ragdoll or dangling in yin yoga, bringing our feet on top of the blocks. Four corners of the feet are pressing into the block. Big toe, baby toe, ball mount, and heel. And we're folding the chest down toward the thighs. You can either interlace opposite elbows, interlace behind your legs, or just rest your hands on your bolster pillow. As you breathe, finding a connection between chest and thigh. If you need to start with a big bend in the knees, that's a-okay. Removing your hands from the bolster is okay as well. Just really allow gravity to pull your heavy head down toward the mat. And breathing in through the nose and exhaling out your nose or mouth, releasing all tension and tightness in the neck with a gentle nod, yes or no, if needed. Be prepared to remain in this pose for up to five minutes.
just a few more breaths. When you're ready, slowly step off the blocks. Press your sitting bones back just slightly into a modified down dog here. And bend into the knees. And set the blocks aside for now as we set up for our next pose. Taking our bolster and placing a block underneath the far end of the bolster. Just one block. We'll set the other one aside. Take a seat on the low end of the bolster and our knees are bent as if in hero's pose. We're gonna stretch our quads here. Slowly recline back. Then you can allow the crown of your head to draw back toward the earth. We're coming into a full saddle here. A little bit more of a stretch through the shoulders and chest by bringing your arms out to a T, palms up. Allow everything to let go and just breathe, close your eyes. Take a few more breaths in this pose. We reflect on our health and well-being, knowing that it's 
okay to give ourselves permission to allow for the opening of our connective tissues and remaining in these poses quiet. We're going to begin to bring the bolster on top of our legs. Set your block aside and bring your legs together. Flex the toes toward the face and rest the bolster on your lap. Breathe in, lift your rib cage, and as you exhale, fold forward into your caterpillar pose here and use your bolster as a soft, reliable pillow to comfort you in this pose as you open up your lower back and also the back sides of your legs. Allow the quiet in this pose to give you clarity. I'm going to modify this pose a bit if you choose by folding and interlacing the hands and placing the weight of the hands behind the head. It gives just a little bit more opening through the neck. We'll remain here for a few more minutes. We'll take just a few more breaths in this restorative caterpillar pose.
Very nice. We're going to release the bind of our hands behind the head. Slowly sit up and then bring your bolster off to the side. Our next pose is going to require our strap. We are going to start by placing that strap behind the sole of our feet. And I have my strap looped so it's connected at the belt buckle. From here, we're just gonna lift our head up off of the mat and place the strap behind our knowledge hump, that little bump behind your head. We're setting up for what's called hammock. And we're going to essentially be doing just that. Envisioning that we're hanging out in a hammock, just allowing ourselves to be free, swinging in that hammock. Our arms come out wide. Our neck releases. The feet stay flexed with toes toward the face. And the heels stay relatively above our hips. Keeping the neck gently tucked in, chin toward the chest, holding hammock pose for a few minutes.
Remain here a few more breaths. And when ready, grab onto the strap and remove your head first. And then remove the strap from your feet and go ahead and set the strap aside. We're going to take our bolster pillow and use that in our next pose. Sliding it right underneath the knee pit. Allow your legs to just rest on top of your bolster pillow and recline back one vertebrae at a time. Placing one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. Recognizing that circle of energy as you breathe in and expand your lungs. Exhale as you allow stale air out. Remain calm in your breath. And soothe your mind, heart, and soul by remaining in this Shavasana, our final resting pose of this beautiful yin practice. remain here for a few more breaths. Slowly open up the eyes and begin to make your way up off of the mat, removing that bolster from underneath your knee pit and meeting me in seated easy pose, closing our practice with one final breath starting with our thumbs at our heart. Inhale, draw your thumb knuckles to your third eye and exhale as you bow forward. Namaste. The divine light in me honors and respects the divine light in you.